Hi guys, I'm going to do a real quick non-review of our May book. We were liars. So everyone's been talking about this big twist at the end, and I understand why now. Um, so I, I can't, I don't know how to review it without completely blowing the lid off that whole ending. So I'll just, we could talk ah. about it later, um, you know, once we've all finished it. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and give you what my face looked like the whole time I was reading the book. And then here's what it looked like when I got to the last chapter. Okay, so that was an attractive face. I'm glad I made that for the internet. So, yeah, we could put that aside. But I will, because I have time left, that only took like 40 seconds, talk about Anne Brashear's The Here and Now. So the premise is, is that, like, climate change and humanity's inaction in terms of climate change has led to, like, an overabundance of mosquito season. And mosquitoes are starting to carry this blood-borne plague, and it kills off everybody, so people from the future decide to colonize the past. And there's this whole, like, society of people who colonize, and they have all these rules, like, we have to reset the timeline, but we can't get too involved and don't fall in love with anybody. And it's kind of centered around this girl, Prena, who falls in love with this guy, Ethan. And I... I was told that this was going to be an epic romance, and I would feel that these two people were destined together, and that she should break the rules of her society, and they, their love transcends time, and I just wasn't feeling any of that, right? I had no sense of connection to either of these characters, because you don't see them fall in love, you just meet them, and it's like, these people are clearly meant to be, and I'm like, I don't, that's not clear to me. Um, and the action of the book, it, it, the premise is great, and I think, like, if you looked at an outline of the plot, you think this is great. But the problem is, is that this book needed to be twice this size because I feel like we got a lot going on and none of it goes really in depth. I wanted to be more inside the head of Prenna and I wanted to kind of learn more about the origins of this plague and I wanted to learn more about the schematics of the timeline thing. And I just, it was pleasant, but... There was just, there was just so many more places where you could have really dug deep and like hit on a theme and made it resonate. And as it is, I had to double check what the guy's name was. Like as I was doing this vlog, I'm like, what, they're her, it's Prenna and then she loves what's his face with the sweatshirt, right? I, that is not how I want to walk away from a book that promises me an epic love story. So it's perfectly fine. And a great premise. It's just, I need more of that. So anyway, um, the boy told me that I need to start being more selective with my reading choices if they're going to accept, like upset me this much because I read these like both back to back. So I'll start thinking about that apparently. Anyway, look forward to you guys' thoughts. Bye!